हे हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू अवर फर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट मॉड्यूल इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डायनेमिक सी सिक्सटी फाइव फाइनेंस एंड ऑफ सो फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इन द इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट मॉड्यूल इज कॉन्फिगरिंग द साइट एंड वेयर हाउस इन द सिस्टम बट बिफोर गोइंग क्रिएट अ साइट वेयर हाउस एंड लोकेशन इन द सिस्टम फर्स्ट आई एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द वॉट इज साइट एंड वेयर हाउस इन दी सिक्सटी फाइव सो एज अ बिगनर इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द साइट वेयर हाउस एंड लोकेशन सो वी स्टार्ट विद द साइट सो वॉट इज साइट साइट इज अ नॉन टेंजुएबल थिंग इट्स अ जियोग्राफिकल लोकेशन सो लेट मी शो यू सम सो इन दैट इमेज यू कैन सी दैट द ग्रीन सर्कल इज अ साइट सो इन वन कंट्री और वन रीजन वी कैन हैव अ मल्टीपल साइट एंड ईच साइट हैव their own associated warehouses so each site can have the n number of warehouses like one site may have 100 warehouses 200 warehouses any number of warehouses so there is a no limit to creating a warehouses inside a one particular site so in that image the site one have the two warehouses w1 and w2 and in the second site which is located in the south side having the w1 W2, W3 and W4 warehouses and inside that each warehouses we have bins, shelf and racks. So this is just a high level introduction to the site and warehouse. So let's first move to the system and create an site and warehouse so you will better understand about the hierarchy. In order to create a site and warehouse, first we navigate to the inventory management module. Inside inventory management module, let's collapse all inside setup. We have inventory breakdown so let's click on the site so to create a new site we just click on the new button for creating a site we have only two fields which is mandatory one is a site code and another one is a site name so nothing else is mandatory for the site so creating site is very easy as compared to creating a warehouse so let's enter the site name as a s1 the enter the site name as north india so inside the site we in the general tab we have other options like order entry deadline group so summary of the order entry deadline group is we have start time and end time for the specific site and you have defined the time in order entry deadline within the inventory management module so we can define this like all site group group of site and the specific site so if you want this as a group of site then you need to create a group and assign this group inside that entry deadline group so for example i am specifying the start time as a 9 am and closing time as a 6 pm for this particular site now i am trying to enter the new sales order for the warehouse at 7 pm and try to find out the delivery date for the specific sales order you will see that the delivery date for their item in the sales order line is tomorrow not today this happen because we have exceeded the order entry deadline for the particular site let's take an another example i am creating the sales order before the 6 pm then you can see that the delivery date of the sales order line is today because we have enter the sales order line before the site deadline time so we will explore this feature with example in our dirixify erp clips channel so you can check out this channel for this video so this is an just overview of the order entry deadline next one is a time zone time zone which is also related to the order entry deadline group also likewise we have option like master planning this will discuss in our future video when we talk about the master planning process when we turn on this parameter system will automatically create order to refill this particular site also when you turn on this parameter system will create a transfer journal instead of transfer order so we will discuss this in detail in our master planning videos so the next one is a address as we discussed earlier site is a non tangible thing so we not generally mention any address for the site but if you require you can mention the site address over here the next one is below is a hierarchy which show you the visual representation of the hierarchy of the site and the warehouses and the last one is a warehouse which is totally dedicated for the master planning so we will discuss both the default inventory status id and allow user mobile device in our master planning process so let's save this site here you can see that as soon as you save this site the site code was disabled to edit you can't edit the site code now to edit this site code you can just delete this site and create a new site with the new site code but when you create an any order for the particular site then you, you can't even delete this site so before hit the save button 
make sure you enter the correct site code so our site setup is completed now let's move to the warehouse so in order to create a warehouse again go to site inventory management inside inventory management let's collapse all under the setup we have invent breakdown and select the warehouse so in order to create a new just click on the new warehouse enter the warehouse id enter the w1 as a warehouse id and w1 here we select the site which we have just created as w1 north india as our site here we have the option like type in the type we have three option default quarantine and the transit the default which will be used in the normal condition so when you are creating the normal warehouses then warehouse type must be default the next one is a quarantine warehouse when you want to create a quarantine warehouse then you can choose the option like quarantine warehouse so what is a quarantine warehouse when we implementing the quality management feature in directory for finance and operation where for all upcoming parts we apply the arrival inspection process in that process some item gets failed in the quality inspection processes that specific item which is damage item will be stored in some other location apart from that normal warehouses because we need to return that item to the vendor so this damage item gets stored in that quarantine warehouses normally we create a quarantine warehouse within a main warehouse use some space inside the main warehouse as a quarantine warehouse to store the all damage goods we deep dive into the topic of quarantine management when we discuss about the quality management process in this series so the last one is a transit warehouse transit warehouse is a virtual warehouse which is in use when your stock is transferred from one warehouse to the another warehouse in that case the track of that inventory for the transferring item will be so in that case the track of the inventory for this transferring item will reach the destination warehouse this will be counted under the transit warehouse so let's take an example for the transit warehouse you have warehouse 1 which is located in the north side of india and we have warehouse b which is located in the south side of the india so the warehouse a is a requested for the item in the warehouse b so now the item is shipped from the warehouse a to reach the destination location or destination warehouse which is warehouse b this will take one or two days so till that one or two days or till the item received by the warehouse a will consider in the transit warehouse for the system accountability so currently i am creating the normal warehouse so i'll select the option as a default same here as before hit the save button make sure you selected the right type because as soon as you hit on the save button system will disable this field to be edit so let's save this button so now you can see that this type button will be disabled to edit the next one is a quarantine warehouse and transit warehouse so when you select the quarantine warehouse and transit warehouse here so system will automatically sense if there any failure to receive that item for this warehouse system know that this will be quarantine warehouse to move this item similarly when i transfer my stock from w and w1 to some other warehouses then my stock will be moved to the transit warehouse until it's received by the other warehouses we will more discuss about this transit warehouse process in our transfer order episode so the next one is a master planning this master planning tab we will discuss in our master planning series next one is a inventory and the warehouse management in the inventory management in, in microsoft dynamics 365 when you implemented the inventory management you need to have a one receive location where you receive the goods and also you have one issue location from where you issue the goods to the customer so in this issue for finance and operation we have option that where you can set the default receipt location and default issue location so by using this default receipt location you can which means that when you want to receive this item from vendor every time for a specific location then you can set the location over here and same if you want to issue the good every time from the specific location to the customer then you can set the issue location over here so let's create a location first so in order to create a location again go to inventory management collapse under the setup inventory breakdown we have inventory locations but before creating any location we need to first create a aisle for our location let's i'll show you why we need you can see over here we can set any warehouse is our warehouse here we have the aisle option to be mandatory so let's first create the aisle so in order to create aisle first okay let's delete this inside inventory aisle 
click on our new button select our warehouse for which we have creating I'll so we selecting our north warehouse which we have just created and set the aisle name as a1 now save this aisle so let me explain what is the aisle shelf and rack and bin in the location so you can see that in the image this is a whole location inside one location we have four aisles aisle a aisle b aisle c and aisle d and inside that aisle i'll show you what inside that aisle so we'll take it as aisle a inside aisle a we have shelf a shelf b and shelf c same as we have rack 5 rack 3 and rack 1 so inside rack we have multiple bins so for example we need to find out the item which is stored in the bin 3 then we need to again go to aisle a inside aisle a we need to go to shelf b inside shelf b have rack 0 3 so our inventory number is a which is our aisle 0 3 is our rack number b is our shelf number and 0 3 is our bin number so by using this number you can locate your item in the location so let's again go to location and create location with our aisles so in order to create a location let's click on the new button here we select our warehouse nw01 and select the aisle which we have created nw01 a1 now you can see that here the location field is a blank so to create a location we have two options one is where the location id will be auto generated based on the combination of the rack shelf and the bin and the second option is we manually create a location we enable this tag and you can enter the any number in the location so first we create a location with the manually because generally many users use that manual option because they have previously some legacy system and they want to use that same location id in that new system so whenever we select the manual option you can enter the any number as a location id but when you use the combination of rack shelf and bin then you need to use a particular number sequence so first let's create two location which we need in the warehouses and after this i'll demonstrate you the automatic number sequence so here we enter the location name as a inbound location for receive the item in the location type as we discussed we have bulk location picking location inbound dog outbound dog so this is a inbound dog because we have receiving the item so we'll select the inbound dog and set the location name as a inbound save this button again create a new for our outbound so let's see select the warehouse select the aisle a1 enable the manual update button and in the location tab we set outbound now and in the location type we need to select the outbound dog because we are using this location for the issue goods to the customer Let's duplicate this tab and assign this location to our warehouse inside inventory management warehouse so select our warehouse this is our warehouse inside inventory and warehouse management we set default receipt location as a inbound location and set the default issue location as a outbound location so save this so now again go to inventory location let's now demonstrate the automatic location id generally this automatic location id is used when you want to create a location in a bulk so before creating the automatic location in the location names we need to enable this all option like including aisle including rack including shelf and including bill for automatic number sequence with a combination of rack shelf bin we have restriction of 10 digit of location id here you have the option by using this you can set the digit like how many digit you want for the rack shelf and the bin for the part of your number sequence structure so in the rack i have 100 racks so i'll set it as a two hash here the hash will be considered as a digit same for the shelf i have 10 shelf so I'll set the one asterisk over here and for the bin I have thousand bins so I'll consider three hash so our number sequence will be generated over here like aisle is a first a1 is a two digit of our aisle the next one is a zero two which is our rack the next zero is our shelf and the last zero four digit is considered as a bin number so let's again go to our location uh, inside the location let's so let's again click on the new button select our warehouse select our aisle 
now you can see that our location ID will be automatically updated in the location so again we move to the our warehouse inside after location name we have address so in that address we need to set the address for our warehouse so our address is done next is our hierarchy you can see here now in the hierarchy s1 is our site and inside our site we have one warehouse so our hierarchy is properly created now let's create a quarantine warehouse and the transit warehouse because we need to use this main warehouse in our future episode where we discuss about the quarantine process in the quarantine management and the transit warehouse for the transfer order process so let's create new it is as a qw as a quarantine warehouse select the site which we have created north india okay and in the type now we selected as a quarantine and save this option let's create a transit warehouse tw warehouse in the general we select the site and in the type where we select it, the transit warehouse so again we move to our main warehouse which we have created north warehouse inside north warehouse we select our quarantine warehouse which we have created for our main warehouse qw and the set the transit warehouse as a tq so our site and warehouse and location setup is done now for the inventory management to move further for inventory management module so that's it for this video in our next video we will discuss about the posting setup for the inventory posting so make sure you are subscribed to our channel and thank you for watching